I've been uh, quite happily covering Space Marine 2 now for a couple of weeks, and I've learned a lot by reading through the comments in that time here on the videos about how players perceive this game. And uh, one thing that I read over and over again is people saying that this game is just too dang hard. And uh, on other forums as well, there are people actively pushing for difficulty level reductions to the game. And I had to sort of sit back and ponder a bit. Uh, is the game actually too hard? You know, many people tell me, TV, I can't even play on average difficulty. I can only complete operations on trivial, and even then, it's a challenge. So, uh, so what's the answer here? Is Space Marine 2, in fact, too hard? Let's chat about it. First things first, let me just give you my initial take, and then we'll unpack it a bit. Uh, I do not think that the game is too hard, but I do have to recognize my bias here. Uh, my favorite games of the last two years have been, you know, uh, games like Remnant 2, Elden Ring, things like that. I mean, I was literally working on an Elden Ring playthrough the day before I started playing Space Marine 2. So I've been playing games that really require you to be engaged, be smart about your duels, focus on parries, focus on dodges, and I'm also used to failure. And that's another key thing, I think. But uh, I recognize that not all gamers play or enjoy games that are like that. Not all players like that level of challenge or the feeling of being overwhelmed. And Space Marine 2 absolutely makes you feel overwhelmed. Like it, it wants your health low, it wants your screen red, and it wants you really feeling that pressure like if you don't do something right now, then it's all over for you. So I do think it's important to understand what kind of a game Space Marine 2 is. It's gritty. It's about enduring. There is only the war. And uh, we're supposed to be masters of the war. And that's not something that's given. It's not just given to us in this game. Like some games, you know, do that. That's their thing. It's, it's something that's earned in this game, though. And I think the number one thing that players struggling with this game need to focus on is just learning the game. And I know that sounds maybe a bit reductive, but you have to start asking, okay, well, if I'm not having success, what am I doing wrong? And I think one of the best ways to start relearning from the ground up is to actually replay the campaign on like average difficulty, starting with the very first mission. Pay attention to the tutorial, read everything. Beyond that, step two would be to play or replay through the trials of your preferred class. And if you're struggling, I'm gonna tell you this right now, do not lean on assault or sniper for your first class. If you're struggling and you picked one of those two, it's my honest recommendation that you make a switch. Assault is not easy at base when it comes to survivability, and it's not great at its best either. It takes a seasoned or skilled player to make Assault viable at the higher difficulties. Earning back contested health is like the number one thing that an Assault player needs to know how to do. Sniper is a really hard solo class. If you get AI companions, then Sniper is gonna be a real challenge for players trying to learn the game and get it dialed in. The next advice I would give you if you're struggling is to level your preferred class up to the point where you have unlocked at least the whole first row of perks before you start escalating things to the average difficulty level. Just hang out on Trivial for a while that way, you have a better understanding of what your class really does, how it's built, and what the perks are doing for you. You get some reps really leaning into those perks and trying to activate them and take advantage of them. That's really going to help you go into the average difficulty level with a better foundation. And the last bit of advice I would give you if you're struggling is to look up videos and articles and threads online that unpack what your preferred class's best builds are, best weapon choices, best play styles and perk selections. If you do all of those things, I think anyone, any gamer, regardless of skill level, would be able to comfortably play on the average difficulty setting in Space Marine 2. Now, all of that being said, let's return to that question, is the game too hard? Um, and I already gave you my answer. I don't think it's too hard per se, but here's what I will here's what I will say. I think that the game is a little misleading with its difficulty level names. I would not say that the easiest setting of the game is, in fact, trivial. The word trivial means, and I quote, of little value or importance, insignificant. Now, I'm used to playing the game on hard and very hard, but that being said, I think the base difficulty level of this game is far from being insignificant or of little value and importance. And I think players who go into that base difficulty level expecting to have a cakewalk of a time and don't end up getting a cakewalk 
are certainly well within their rights to feel like it, maybe they were lied to. It's certainly no insignificant jaunt to the finish line. At the very least, I would certainly want the easiest setting for this game to be approachable for all gamers who are interested in the game. I want them to feel like they have a place here in Space Marine 2, and I don't want them to feel like they can't enjoy playing in the world that they fell in love with. And here's really where I fall with this. It does not affect me at all if the trivial difficulty setting gets made easier. It doesn't affect me. I'm still going to play at the higher tiers. I'm still going to get better armory data. I'm still going to level up faster. I'm still going to get more XP for my weapons and enjoy the challenge that I'm presented with. So if Saber decides to ease off the gas a little bit with the trivial difficulty setting, I do not care. In fact, if it makes the game's player base healthier and happier, then I'm all for it. And I think every mature gamer would say the same. I think only children gatekeep the easiest setting on a video game. That's not really something adults do. So at the end of the day, if the game gets easier at the entry level, but still awards a small amount of XP and only one armory data per run, then what, what do I care, right? As long as people are enjoying the game, I'm here for it. Now, that being said, I do highly recommend the players make the effort to improve if they want to run at the higher difficulty settings and they want to get better gear. If you have to, find some folks online or through LFG who are kind and willing to help you out on those higher settings. Me and my buddy Fallout have already helped people who are level 5 and below make it through substantial ops and get purple data. We're happy to do it. But make the effort to improve your understanding of the game and master your preferred class. That's what I would ask the people who are struggling to do as a start on their journey of improvement. Thanks so much for watching the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. A big thank you to the now 2,000 plus new subscribers to the channel since we started our Space Marine coverage. I really appreciate your support. Be warm and well-fed. Courage and honor, brothers.